guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, in this video, I'm just going to share with you what you can do to help minimalize the, the, the dry air hitting your plants when growing them indoors above radiators. Now most people who live in houses or apartments will obviously have radiators here. <laughs> Hopefully you'll have some form of heating anyway. And obviously as you can see, it's a cold day outside here in um, in Ireland here in Belfast and uh, obviously we are very lucky here because we do get mild winters in comparison to places like Canada and other parts of the world so although it is it is snowy out there it's still relatively mild in the bigger picture of things but obviously we need to have the heating on and we have here on our windowsill this is in our bedroom we have a selection of ferns here and obviously we have this beautiful um, beautiful Boston fern here Nephilepis and um, we don't want this plant to dry out. These type of plants do need quite high humidity, um, which is difficult indoors in, a, in inside the house because obviously you have the central heating on, it dries out the air. And um, with cacti, this isn't such a problem or with succulents because they love the dry air. In fact, the drier air, the better when it comes to cacti and succulents. They're in our polytunnel, which for, unfortunately have a lot more humidity than's ideal for them. Um, but the, the, the warm temperatures are the biggest problem with cacti. So if they're, above, they're on a winter sill with the radiator on, obviously the heat coming up from the radiator directly going up, up towards them is going to encourage them to grow when you want them to go dormant at this time of year. So this will also help you if you're growing desert plants too. But um, even with normal house plants, and in this case we've got ferns, you don't want them to, the heat to dry out the plants. So what um, Hans has shared here, brilliant tip um, with me, my amazing fiance Hans. And by the way, links up above to Hans's incredible channel, guys. Family of Cactusy and Other Beauties. He's so knowledgeable. And um, Hans has got some amazing videos on there. He's going to be putting lots more on too, as well as cacti succulents gardening tips. So please do go over and subscribe. And... Um, what he shared here is, as well as obviously, I've always used the water with, with plants that like more humidity and the, the heat coming up there from the radiators. A bowl of water does help to increase the humidity a little bit around them, but it does very little in the bigger picture, but it is a little help. But what is amazing, we found a massive help, is that Hans recommended, and he's done this before, obviously, because he's lived in apartments um, in Sweden and he's grown his plants on windowsills with radiators above, is use a um, sheet of... Um, wood here a thin piece of wood this is ideal actually but you could probably use a big sheet of cardboard as long as you don't have your radiators boiling hot there's no chance of um, any harm or any fire or anything like that so it is very safe now obviously with this board you just lift the board over on there and it is absolutely fantastic because what this does this directs the heat into the room where you want it obviously so it doesn't make any difference this isn't going to block out the heat guys this lets direct the heat still in your room so you have your room lovely and warm but what it does this acts as a shield against um, the heat rising up onto the onto your plants so it helps keep the, the excess heat off your plants and if you're growing cacti succulents it stops the heat from getting onto the the plants encouraging encouraging them to carry on growing when you want them to rest this time of year and of course it also helps prevent normal house plants from drying out i just thought that's a really good tip should you obviously grow your plants on windowsills with radiators so it just helps to protect them from the excess heat and uh as you can see here, they seem to be doing pretty good. This beautiful um, fern here is absolutely thriving. So guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power. As always from Ireland. And until the next video, guys. Bye.